Hi students, welcome to the problem solving session. In this class, uh, we solve problems from pointing theorem. The question is a plane wave in free space. So it's a free space, uh, has an average pointing vector of uh, 1.5 watt per meter squared. So P is 1.5 watt per meter squared, right? Find the average energy density. Average energy density W average is given by 1 by 2 epsilon naught e squared. Why I put epsilon naught? Because it is a free space. Otherwise, it is 1 by 2 epsilon e squared. So, what I need is e. Once I know e, I can find uh, uh, energy density. So, I know that uh, p average pointing vector is given by p average is equal to 1 by 2 e h. Why I take a scalar value? Because uh, the power is given in the scalar, so I take a scalar parameter. So that is equal to 1.5. So E H is equal to 3. So E, I want E only. H is given by uh, E by eta. This implies E squared is equal to 3 into eta. Right? So it will be 3 into 125. Fine. So now I got uh, E square value. What I want is average power W average is given by 1 by 2 epsilon naught. Epsilon naught is given by uh, 8.854 into 10 power minus 12. E square is given by 3 into 125. So if we simplify what we get is 5 into 10 power minus 9 joule per meter cube, right? So uh, that's what, uh, what do you call our uh, energy density. So the answer is option A, right? This is a simple problem, we can solve easily, right? If you have any doubt, you can ask also. Okay, the next problem is uh, in a free space, h is equal to 0 0.2 cos omega t minus beta x a x ampere per meter. Find the total power passing through a circular disk of radius 5 centimeter. Right? So, in free space they have given h value. I want uh, power flowing, power passing or power flowing through a circular disk. So, I want uh, total power. Total power is given by, right, average power. That only I can find multiply by area. Yes or no area of the uh, surface. So you see average power into area is given by total power because power H power is the power flowing at the particular point. If you multiply by area, you will get total power. So I know first I find average power P average is given by 1 by 2 E H. H is given. What is H value from this? This is what? The magnitude of h so h is given by 0.2 i want to find uh, e value so how can we find we can find easily because e by h is equal to 125 why it is a uh, free space right the problem they have given free space in free space e by h is equal to 120 by H I got it. So this implies E is equal to uh, 120 pi into 0 0.2. H comes this side. So E is equal to 120 by into H. H is equal to 0 0.2. So what I get is 75.4 uh, volt per meter. Right. So now I got uh, E value, H value. So average power is given by 1 by 2. E value is 75.4 h value is 0 0.2 if i simplify this uh, uh, what i get is uh, 7.54 watt per meter square average power what i want is total power p total is given by average power is 7.54 area of the circular disk it is a circular disk where the power flows so pi into r squared R is 5 centimeters, so 5 into 10 power minus 2, I convert into meter, that is equal to 
whole square and so it will give the answer of 0 0.059 watt or 59 milliwatts right so this is also a simple problem if you have any doubt please ask me in comment section thank you